Pelo beat, esquece. <risos>
Now this one. Now there's our link. Oh. Those are things supposed to be shaped that way. It's like it may be bent, but it could be could be factory. So I definitely want to note the orientation that if that is the case. Um, I want to say they call this a spigot. This piece right here. I'm just gonna leave all our hardware. Look at this. Look at this. This is why I want to change it out to something a little more beefier. There's also bushings in here. Um, might have to get something to get those out. So stand by. All right. So it's got a sleeve in it in the middle. I can't remember if I press these things in because the Super Pro they're two separate pieces but I am thinking these are these were pressed in by me the last time I did this job I'm not worried about messing it up they're trash but Come on, baby. I'm out of there. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Here's our orientation. Put these two in the bottom. Got this guy here. So I think I may have it had it installed it improperly when I had this guy right there you know, go figure this time we're gonna do it right uh, first things first this is something about putting uh, applied supplied grease to the sway bar link spigot and then install the new bushings and washers for reference An orientation figure two so let's, uh, let's see if we can make that happen and to answer your question no I don't think this thing was meant to be bent like that now my concern and something I don't quite understand is why each one of these these drop down brackets or spigots or whatever in the world they're calling them is longer than the other so not too sure about about that all right, so I show washer, uh, machine, and then let's see if I can do this with this thing in the way, and then another bushing up in the top here. The sway bar is going to be in the way. And then another, we'll call it a cap washer. And then now let's see if we can get this to bite. Which would be awesome. Yep. Alright, we'll just leave that loose. Oh, boy. I don't know. Maybe disconnecting the other side is a good idea. Alright, stand by. I'm going to go disconnect the other side so I don't have to fight it. Well, here's what we got so far. These two guys go put in there. And then we got the sleeve. Which is greased. Which goes like that. Now these Super Pros are much, much stiffer. Harder, they're, they're a harder polyurethane. So of course this will go through here. Um, but again, I want to do the other side so I can just, I don't have to fight. All right, that's what we got.
So far so good. Put this guy in. And then install. Up. And then install. And then the next bushing. And your next washer oriented correctly to capsulate the bushings. And then you're not. Beautiful. Now we can begin this. Maybe. Curious if I should do the back before linking these together. I am going to leave everything loose. There it is. Come on. There she is. How many think about? I think I'd rather have this. Well, I guess I can't put the bolt this way. The nylon nut. And that's it. And he's ready to be tightened up. I was worried about these hanging down lower than my control arms because I definitely hit these con lower control arms a lot, and as well as the sway bar. Um, look at that meaty bastards! Huh? Oh, I forgot my I forgot my bolts. That's all right. We'll get this off first. Hmm. Hopefully this thing don't sling down. These things always scare me ever since one of them blacked my eye one time. Maybe do one at a time. That would be nice. I think that's possible. This one's all kinds of been out of whack. And again, this is after I've beat it into shape a couple times. I'm in the bushing. Uh, not very old. Replaced it, but a little bit of damage there. Uh, what's in, they include the OEM Toyota bushings. Um, one of the options to this thing is to put in a white line sway bar, heavy duty sway bar. Uh, the millimeter of the bar itself is thicker and gives more torsion. Um, I'm going to try to go this route first before going to a heavier duty sway bar. Just see if I get this one, you know, together tight and properly and uh all right let me go get my bolt hold tight okay back let's get the stack up here with the lock washer i'm not sure what the purpose in the whole blue anodized is whatever that is let's see if we can get that thing started Without cross threading it, that would be nice. It's always a good idea to kind of get a couple threads going before you stick the ratchet on it. Uh, ask me how I knew that. enough mod Case. You know, so 
what better thing to do than you know slam a ratchet on it like I just said not to <laughs> I think it started there we go let's try to do it a little even so they're almost like little mini skid plates Sure, what the torque is on it. That feels about right. Yeah. Nice. Look at that. Thank you, Wits End. Let's do the other side. Lay in the oil dryer here. So excited. See? This one's so bent, I can't get on the bolt. Huh? Big old hammer can't handle. Look at that. All kinds of bent up. I'm gonna clean this one up and actually spray a little bit of. PB blaster in the holes. surface a little bit there we go all right good enough good enough for government work Bring that bushing on there It's way over there, but we got it. There we 
go. Started. I can't see. Maybe you guys look. There she is. like it started but certainly want to make sure it's not one you want to cross thread right here like a welded nut in there on the axle uh, bracket sure the sway bar is also centered properly yeah no I'm not supposed to be torquing with my ratchet like that but you know I'm a, I'm a shade tree mechanic what can I say all right she looks a little deformed a little smashed down but, but it's got it good and tight Good and tight. Right, let's go tighten our other links up. And what we've done is a little tip of the day. You know, save all this hardware. Toyota hardware is good to have on in a drawer or in a bucket somewhere. I'm not sure how tight that's supposed to be. It's a nylon nut, so I figure just until it starts to deform these a little bit. Boy, I bet that's a that's a better sway bar right there. It. it doesn't seem to hang down it was lower than the control arm here which is a good thing so that's it upgraded sway bar in breezer that's all there is to it next up on that on the next episode we are going to upgrade the windshield wipers sprayer so i have new sprayers hose also came from wits end i'm going to reinstall my windshield wiper bottle with my sleeve relocation brackets. Um, I haven't had washer fluid since I've owned the truck. Um, and going through the mud and the trails and the dust, it definitely helps to have them. All I have is a blank hole. So follow me on the next one and hopefully I'll keep uploading these things to YouTube. All right, until next time, Sean with Venture Unknown, thank you for joining me.